The Messenger is made possible with funding from the Specialist High School's major program, also known as SHISM. Do you have your red seal? Hello and welcome to The Messenger, episode 23. I'm Aiden Weir, and today we look as to why contact should be on your list during this course selection. Jordan Rock goes to the Harrison Halloween Haunt and files a report. Astrid Chu tells us about the grade nine movie experience at the Norgan. Dylan Ermel talks to Miss Murray about the music program. Josh Portalance looks into running your own business in a small town. But first stop, I take a trip down memory lane as I expose Norwell's roots. Ah, it's really sunny outside, a lot better than in Britain. I am here in Palmerston Minto. It's a small little town in southern Ontario, Canada, with a population of just 2,700 people. And I'm standing inside the local high school of Norwell. Norwell, short for North Wellington High School, is a huge center for post-secondary education students and has all the classes you'd expect a normal high school to have. But what made it? What has happened over the decades to make this place possible? Well, first, we're going to have to go back to 1939. In 1939, there was a man named T.W. Oldfield. He owned a few of the houses, including his own in the area. And then one day, a fire broke out and burned down all the surrounding property in the area. And instead of rebuilding it, he decided to donate it to the Palmerston School Board, where then there was a decision that was made to build a secondary school right here. Plans started in 1940, and the school opened a year later under the name Palmerston High School. It wasn't a really interesting name, but two years later it would be renamed to Norwell after two high schools in the surrounding township closed their doors, hence why the name is called North Wellington. Since then, the school since served the North Wellington area has been keeping up the times with it. There's even a communications technology class, something that I would have gone to as a teenager. The Palmerston School Board has since merged with the Upper Grand District School Board. The school, though, still runs fine, and even though there are still some students out there who have a school closer to where they live, they still go here. Which I guess just shows what 81 years of building and maintaining does for the people of this town. All right, that's a take. Hey Norwell, I'm Bernie Hale. Today, I'll be asking students what they know about ComTech. Excuse me. What do you know about ComTech? ComTech? Nothing. Literally nothing. What's ComTech? Huh? Well, that didn't sound very promising. Let's do some digging to find out what ComTech's all about. It's a great place to jam or experiment with music. Very cool stuff. It's a good way to learn editing skills. Like, I'm editing right now, it's pretty easy. And if if you're curious and you want to get into it, I'd highly recommend joining this class. Creative, fun, and experience. I think students who are thinking of going on to post-secondary uh, have a lot of that communications technology course. They're going to be, uh, have that opportunity to submit assignments in uh, college or university that they, they've produced themselves. They have an interest in journalism. It's also a great place to get some experience. Uh, anybody who's going to be making presentations in the workplace is uh, going to benefit from, from the skills that we teach in here, but also if you haven't had a chance to work on Apple computers, this is a great opportunity to acquire those skills as well. Now that we've learned more about ComTech, will you be joining us next year?
Jordan Rock tonight, and tonight I'm going to be interviewing people at the Harrison Haunted Halloween event. Let's get into it. I heard about this event from my friend who got an email from it. I'm also a part of MIAC, the Minto Youth Action Council, which also told me about the volunteering opportunity. I am telling people about the haunted house in behind the old post. The other activities, there are booths set up all along the street and you can go get candy from them and play some games. You're here with Miles Murray. I'm a student at Norwell District Secondary School. So yeah, I'm here to uh, see all the cool events that's, that are happening. Lots of cool food trucks and stuff. Lots of great stuff tonight. The event's wonderful. Like I said, lots of like fun stuff to do. There's a haunted house, uh, so many food vendors, lots of free candy and stuff, uh, great music. It's awesome. I'm Tabitha. I'm here for the Halloween haunt. There's a bunch of games that you can play and a bunch of treats that you can get. If you didn't come, you should definitely have come. You're here with Cam Forbes, Minto Fire. We're helping out at the Halloween haunt and handing out candy and chips and glow sticks to all the kids in town. It's an excellent, excellent event to go to. We've had a lot of kids and the kids are all having a good time here. Hey, I'm Ashiva and I'm in the Leap Crew. We just recently took the grade nines to a movie event to welcome them into the school. Let's see how the grade nines felt about the movie. Hi, I'm Brielle Perkin, and I thought the movie was pretty good. And I do recommend The Leap Crew because it looks really fun, and it's a way to get engaged with the school. What's goody gang? Um, my name is Bart Tholomew the Great Lamito. Yeah. And then um, what I liked about the movie was that it was super rad, it, and then that uh, only the one I didn't like about the movie was that the popcorn was not that buttery, what I paid for. But I did that, the movie was great, and then I would recommend being a leap leader because they're super cool, like that person. Yeah, she's eating popcorn, she knows it. And then whoever this person is, yeah, rad. What are you laughing about? <laughs> so My name is Austin McDonald, and my favorite part of the movie event was walking down with my friends. I recommend Leap because it is so much fun to look after kids. Hi, I'm Trent and Jason Newton, and I'm in the Leap program. So I joined Leap because I wanted to help the grade nines and other people find their classes and make sure they get their way around the school. Hey, my name is Silas and I'm in the Leap Crew. Uh, so what did I think about the movie event? I really enjoyed it. We walked over there as a big group and we got snacks and we watched Night at the Museum. The cleanup was tremendous, I'd say. Uh, the grade nines are pretty messy, believe it or not. One of those rows, I'm telling you, there was popcorn across the entire thing and I'm like, you probably wasted an entire like entire bucket of popcorn on that, like five bucks. Anyways. I did not get any popcorn at the movie. Did you? I did. And did you, Bart? I got lots. So did you spill it? What do you think? So did you? Is that a yes or a no? Did OJ really do it? <laughs> did he? Ask the gloves. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was me. That was me. Where? There was popcorn across the entire thing. That was like, me. Like the front of it. I feel very terrible for the elite leaders to clean it up. Did you feel terrible? Yeah, it was absolutely horrendous. And did you Bart? Or did you spill it? I don't care. I didn't clean it up. My name is Mrs. Murray. 
Uh, the music course here at Norwell includes band instruments, so it's learning how to play an instrument and learning how to read music. Yes, yeah, so before COVID, um, we had individual courses, grade 9, grade 10, grade 11. Uh, we also had a concert band, and students in concert band would take part in community events like Santa Claus Parade. We played for the Remembrance Day service, com uh, commencement here in the building as well. Um, and then when COVID hit, uh, we weren't allowed to use musical instruments anymore for a music class. So we had to resort to using ukuleles and bucket drums for that. Um, and also because of that, the students that were in the concert band graduated and moved on so then I didn't have any students that were playing musical instruments and so currently we don't have any large enough group for a concert band. Looking for students who are interested in learning how to play an instrument, who um, want to be creative, uh, like to perform, things like that. I'll bet there's rich folks sitting in a fancy dining car. They're probably drinking coffee or smoking big cigars. But I know I had it coming. I know I can't be free. But those people keep on moving. And that's what tortures me. Well, if they freed me from this prison, if that railroad train was mine, I'll bet I'd move it over a little further down the line Far from Folsom Prison, that's where I'd want to stay And I'd let that lonesome whistle blow my blues away How long was I up? Like two seconds, not that long. Nah, man, it was definitely like five years. Don't play around with me. <laughs> it certainly was not five years. Don't lie to me, man. You're giving me the fear. What are you talking about? It probably wasn't even two seconds, like one. You're one of them shrimp, ain't you? You want me to isolate myself. You want me to think I never really slept for that long. Because you didn't. I'm not a prawn, baby. Now you better cut that out or I'm going to freaking blow. You are shrimp. I'm sure of it. I was asleep for five years and in that time I saw the shrimp do horrible things to mankind and all other species. In the future, shrimp will rule single-handedly over the cosmos. We must stop this before the shrimp bust out of my own two hands and begin their evil plan. Hey, Norwell. Today I will be interviewing Terry Cormack what it's like running a small business in a small town. We started our business here in, on August 30th, 2010. The opportunity was here when we first considered buying the store. This, this store was on the verge of bankruptcy. And we saw ample opportunity to take the store and turn it back into a successful hardware store and then sell it. And that really was what prompted us to get into this particular um, uh, business venture. For currently, we have six employees. Ultimate company goal is to to run a profitable hardware business, meeting the needs, the hardware needs of our custom, the customers in uh, in Palmerston, and helping them do their do-it-yourself projects and home repairs and and. Uh, any other little things and, and at the end of the day build up a, a suitable retirement investment so that Wendy and I can retire. Thank you Terry Cormack for doing an interview today. I'll see you next time on The Messenger. The Messenger is made possible with funding from the Specialist High Schools Major Program, also known as SHISM. Do you have your red seal? Well, that's all the time we have for today. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Only one more episode left before a special holiday edition being put together by Erica Leland and Sarah Zimmerlink. A show you won't want to miss. So get your eggnog and your lock stocked up 
From all of us at The Messenger, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.